Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and uh, it's been about 11 days since we started these peafowl eggs in the incubator, and we're going to uh, try candling them. Now, I don't candle a lot of my eggs because my chicken eggs, I've got olive eggers, I've got uh, uh, Easter eggers, or I believe they're called Ericanas. I've got some that lay almost black eggs, some that lay chocolate eggs, or chocolate colored eggs. So uh, when they're dark like that, it's really hard to see through the shell when you've got a dark shell. That's the only downside. Now, uh, it started out this year with uh, the NatureRite 360 incubator and uh, had bought it a year ago and really kind of unhappy with this. The results were good when we first got it. But I bought it in May of last year. It is now July, so just a, a little over a year. And uh, I noticed this year we weren't hardly having anything hatch at all. We lost uh, actually close to $1,000 worth of eggs if you figure in you know, some of the specialty eggs like the peafowl eggs and, uh, and that. I mean, the ones that would be high dollar, especially if the chicks or the birds would be. So... Uh, yeah, I got into it, and the egg turner, actually, the motor wasn't working. I got on Amazon, you know, the turner, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, they're pretty cheap, but you can't buy a replacement. I contacted the company, Mana Pro, and uh, that's when, actually, I got a little, little kind of PO'd at them at their customer service. Originally, they said, well, we will uh, if, send me a receipt if it's under warranty, we'll get you a, uh, a motor out right away and you can replace it. I sent it to them. Oh, you're about a month or so out of warranty. So uh, we're gonna put you on a waiting list. It may take up to a year. So apparently if I'm under warranty, you know, this $300 incubator I bought last year and maybe used four times, then uh, it quit working. That, uh, yeah, maybe, uh, Maybe, just maybe, uh, we could get you apart right away. But if not, uh, you can wait a year. On the other side, I have uh, this one that I bought. I know it's sitting on a trash can. We're kind of protective of these peafowl legs, so we're keeping them in the bathroom. And it doesn't have a long cord, so this is kind of... For us, this worked out to be a pretty good setup. But we're using this. We're going to see, you know, how things go with it. Anyway, we're going to candle these, uh, these peafowl eggs right now uh, in my bathroom. I've got blackout blinds in, so it's going to be pretty dark. So let's turn off the light, and uh, then we'll see if we can tell anything. Okay, so I've got the first one. I'm going to put her on here. I don't know. Wait, I can kind of... This way, if I can, I don't really see anything. I don't think we got a good one here. Set it down and grab one of the others. Here's one. I think I kind of want to see something in this one. I don't know. Like I said, these eggs are darker. It's a little bit hard to tell sometimes. We've got a third one in here too. Hopefully, hopefully at least one of these. And I'm not good at looking because like I said, I don't do this very often just due to the kind of chicken eggs that we have, they're really hard to candle, but. Well, I don't know, I'm not, not too, uh, 
Not too optimistic on these. And here's our other eggs. Yeah, you can kind of see a little bit. That one doesn't look good, actually, but I'm going to leave them in a little longer just in case. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything to uh, leave them in. Yeah, same thing. Not seeing much there, so... Not looking, uh, not looking too optimistic, but again, you know, I'm going to put them back in. We're at 11 days right now, so uh, really not that many left, 18 days left, so it's not going to hurt anything leaving them in, in there. Only reason I'm using the, uh, the candler on this one instead of the other is the one thing I don't like about uh, this incubator is anytime you take the lid off, it's got an alarm to let you know the temperature goes down and it's this blaring alarm that you can't shut off or I haven't figured out how to shut it off yet. So I'm like, you know what? The candler still works on that. That's one thing that does. And, and the incubator works, it's just it's got a, uh, a nice egg turner on it. And uh, you know, you don't have to have to work that hard. You don't have to go in and turn the eggs. And literally the thing crapped out with after like four hatchings, three hatchings. So, but the candler works, so I figure you know might as well use it. I paid three hundred bucks for this piece of junk. But anyway, uh, that's where we're at candling eggs. Hopefully, you know we're gonna get lucky with these. I'm not optimistic, but you never know. I've also got some ringneck pheasant eggs in the other incubator as well that we just put in yesterday. So, you know, maybe we'll get lucky with them. Maybe we'll get some more eggs. We'll see. It's Matt with McGee Farms. Hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, consider leaving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, share it with friends, leaving a comment. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.